where police say tonight 24 year old Gary McKinnon was hit and killed by a driver on 141 not far from Marshall Road. He was leaving a bar at the time and tonight six weeks after that deadly crash police have few leads. So St. Louis County Police they need your help finding that driver. Only News Force Caroline Hacker is hearing from Gary McKinnon's family. She's live tonight in Valley Park near that crash site. Caroline. Sam, police say Gary McKinnon was at Bobby's place, and for some reason they say he started walking toward 141, and he successfully crossed the northbound lanes, but it was once he got here right by this guardrail in the southbound lanes that he was struck, and the driver didn't stop. This stretch of Route 141 just north of Interstate 44 is busy. It's why the family of Gary McKinnon can't believe no one saw him in his final moments the evening of March 15th. There's no way no one's seen something. It's like someone had to see something like just we want answers. Doyle says her brother in law was struck in the southbound lanes of 141 before being thrown over the guardrail and into a grassy area. We, someone seen him go over the guardrail, but she didn't know for sure if he was hit or not. Everyone thought he was clipped for a minute, but when she seen him go over the guardrail, she turned around, pulled over, and called 911. The family is thankful they called, fearing McKinnon would not have been spotted until the morning. He was taken to the hospital, dying a week later of his injuries. An organ donor, Gary saved four lives. He was here with friends. And I don't know what happened that night. I don't know why he was walking, but I do know that I feel like someone sees something, but they're either too scared to come forward or they don't want to. MoDOT cameras in the area captured the police response, but don't record, only providing a live feed. The family wants to see that change. Why can't they record at a busy intersection like this? And that's what we want to know why nothing else is being done. Like we want more done. We don't want him just to be swept under the rug like he was nothing. Desperate for answers, the family is left remembering McKinnon as a doting father and a lover of the outdoors. Now, St. Louis County Police have no description of the car that is responsible for this incident. You see those MoDOT cameras up there, but again, they only have a live feed. They are not recording. Having said that, St. Louis County Police say they are still actively investigating this case, so they're looking for anyone that was either at Bobby's place or driving on 141 the night of March 15th around 8.45 p.m. If you saw anything, please call police. We're live in Valley Park tonight. Caroline Hecker, News 4. In West County.